my noble believing brothers and sisters ittaqullah ta'ala wa raqibuhu muraqabatan man ya'lam anna rabbahu yasma'hu wa yara O believing brothers and sisters the first thing is that I command myself and all of you with the taqwa of Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala to fear Allah azza wa jal as it relates to all of your actions and to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his numerous favors upon us. The greatest favor is the favor of Al-Islam. For indeed, the one whom Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala has given this gift, then Allah azza wa jal has perfected his favor upon that individual. As for the individual who is void of Islam, then Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala has withheld his perfection from that individual. My noble believing brothers and sisters in Al-Islam, from the abundance, generosity, and perfection of Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala is that he has subjected upon his slaves these favors which are both visible and invisible. As he informed us in his noble and excellent book, the Qur'an, which is free from every imperfection, أَلَمْ تَرَوْا أَنَّ اللَّهَ سَخَّرَ لَكُمْ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ وَأَسْبَغَ عَلَيْكُمْ نِعْمَهُ ظَاهِرَةً وَبَاطِنَةً Have you not seen that Allah subhanahu has subjected to you all that is in the heavens and all that is upon the earth? And Allah azza wa jal has abundantly bestowed upon you his favors, both visible and invisible. Therefore, my noble believing brothers and sisters, it is upon every single one of us to remember these favors of Allah upon us and to be from those who use it to earn the great pleasure of Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala and to abstain from his anger and his punishment, the mighty and the majestic. O slaves of Allah, I ask all of you today, if it is that we are capable of remembering Allah's abundant, visible and invisible favors upon us, then is it not befitting at the same token that we remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made forbidden open sinning and all evil deeds as he commanded us in his noble and majestic book وَذَرُوا ظَاهِرَ الْإِثْمِ وَبَاطِنَ إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يَقْسِبُونَ الْإِثْمَ سَيُجَزَوْنَ بِمَا كَانُوا يَقْتَرِفُونَ Abstain from all open and hidden sinning Indeed, those who commit sins shall surely pay for what they did. And Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala informed us in another verse, وَلَا تَقْرَبُوا الْفَوَاحِشَ مَا ظَهَرَ مِنْهَا وَمَا بَطَنْ Command them, O Messenger of Allah, that they should not even draw near to shameful acts, whether it be open or it be secret. Na'am, O believing brothers and sisters in Al-Islam, it is incumbent upon the slave to be completely warned, to be completely warned and to stay away from consistently sinning and falling into evil deeds inward and outward. It is upon him to strive hard against himself, against his soul in this dangerous affair and to consistently seek Allah's aid. Allah the sublime and exalted informed us in his book, وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِينَا لَنَّهْدِ أَنَّهُمْ سُبُلَنَا وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَمَعَ الْمُحْسِنِينَ As for those who strive in our cause, surely we shall guide them to our ways. And indeed, Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala is with those who do righteous deeds. Those who strive against themselves to do every good act, every deed which Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala is pleased with. O believing brothers and sisters, that which would aid in abstaining from hidden and open sinning, is when the slave says to himself, O my soul, this sin, it is not befitting for you to commit. Because Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala has favored you with his outward and inward favors. O soul, how can you now ignore these favors of Allah and fall into disobedience and remove them by sinning inward and outward? O noble brothers and sisters in Al-Islam, may Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala be good to all of you that which would aid the slave in abstaining from hidden and open sinning is for him to reflect and remember 
that the one who favors him with all of these blessings he experiences in his life has the perfect ability to bring forth all his deeds and nothing is hidden from him as he tabaraka wa ta'ala informed us in his noble and excellent book sawa'u minkum man asarra al-qawl wa man jahara bih wa man huwa mustaghfin bil-layli wa saribun bil-nahar it is all the same to Allah whether any one of you says a thing secretly or hiddenly or whether one hides in the darkness of the night or roams about in the broad daylight so Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala my noble ones informs us here everything with him is the same he perfectly sees the actions of the slave and he's able to bring forth these actions and he perfectly sees the every movement of his creation and the way they live but there is not even a statement uttered except that he tabaraka wa ta'ala perfectly hears and there is no place that is hidden from him azza wa jal upon this earth except that he jalla jalalu knows so whatever is hidden from his whole creation is seen by him tabaraka wa ta'ala and whatever is concealed inwardly is known and apparent to allah and whatever is whispered or kept silent is heard by allah he brings forth the smallest of fear and he has complete and perfect knowledge of every matter my noble believing brothers and sisters in al-islam from those matters which would aid the slave in abstaining from hidden and open sins is for him to consider and remember that all of his actions big or small open or hidden is recorded in a scribe nothing is left off except that it is enumerated allah tabaraka wa ta'ala informed us wa kullu shay'in fa'aluhu fi zubur all their deeds are recorded in the scrolls wa kullu saghirin wa kabirin mustatar everything large or small is duly inscribed so it is not befitting that the slave of allah remains constant upon sinning and transgression o oh, believers at this particular station it is upon the slave to understand that the sinning is not just outward as many people they believe but rather that which is imperative is understanding the evil consequences and effects of inner sins and that is because the hidden or inner sins corrupts an individual's heart the inward sins are that which causes him to have deviated beliefs it causes his heart to become weak it causes him to have evil intentions and it causes many harms and diseases upon his heart so it is upon the slave to strive hard against himself in rectifying his heart and to always be concerned about its well-being and it is for this reason it is imperative to raise seeking the forgiveness of Allah from whatever we have fallen into of sins hidden or open whatever we have fallen into of sins recently or from the distant past whatever we have fallen into of sin minor or major raise seeking the forgiveness of Allah as he tabaraka wa ta'ala informed us in his book wasari'u ila maghfirati min rabbikum wa jannatin arduha as-samawati wal ard u'iddat lil muttaqin and hasten to the forgiveness of your lord and to jannah which is as vast as the heavens and the earth and which is created for al muttaqin and which is created for the pious and allah tabaraka wa ta'ala informed us in another verse ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu tubu ila allah tawbatan nasuha asa rabbukum ay yukaffir ankum sayyi'atikum wa yudkhilakum jannatin tajri min tahtiha al anhar O believers, O people of Iman, turn to Allah in sincere repentance. Maybe your Lord Jalla Jalalu will expiate your evil deeds and enter you into gardens beneath it. There are rivers flowing. Yawma la yughzillahu al-nabiyya wal-ladhina amanu ma'a. This day will be when Allah will not disgrace the prophets and those who have believed with him. Nuruhum yas'a bayna aydihim wa bi-aymanihim. The light will spread in front of them and on their right hands. Yaqulun, Rabbana atmim lana nurana waqfil lana innaka ala kulli shay'in qadir. And they will say, O oh, our Lord, perfect for us our light and forgive us. Surely you have power over all affairs. 
Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Azim wa nafa'ni wa iyyakum min al-bayan wa dhikri al-Hakim aqulu hadha al-qawl wa astaghfir Allah li wa lakum wa li sa'iri al-muslimina min kulli dhamb fa astaghfiruhu innahu huwa al-ghafuru al-rahim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillah ala fadlihi wa ihsanih wa shkuruhu ala tawfiqihi wa imtinanih wa sharu an la ilaha illa allahu wahdahu la sharika lah wa sharu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluhu wa ba'd my noble believing brothers and sisters may allah the mighty majestic illuminates our path and be generous to all of us the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had a consistent worry and concern for all sins and it is for this reason we find in his guidance that he would constantly hasten seeking the forgiveness of Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. For there has come in the Sahih of Imam Muslim and the authority of Abi Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala an, that he alayhi salatu was salam would say in his sujood, his prostration, from the many supplications, Allahumma gfir li dhambi kullah, dikkahu wa jillahu wa awwalahu wa akhirahu wa alaniyatahu wa sirrah. O Allah, forgive all of my sins, whether they be great or small, the first of it and the last of it, those that are apparent and those that are hidden. Likewise, we find in the Sahih of Imam al-Bukhari and Imam Muslim and the authority of the noble companion Abu Musa al-Ash'ari radiallahu ta'ala that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam constantly supplicated, Allahumma gfir li ma qaddamtu wa ma akhart wa Allah forgive me for my past sins and also my latter sins. وَمَا أَسْرَرْتُ وَمَا أَعْلَنْتُ Those which I have kept secrets and those sins which I have done openly. وَمَا أَنْتَ أَعْلَمُ بِهِ مِنِّي And for that which you know better than I. أَنْتَ الْمُقَدِّمْ وَأَنْتَ الْمُؤَخِّرْ وَأَنْتَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٍ You are the one who brings forth and you are the one who holds back and you have power over all matters. My noble believing brothers and sisters, في الله تبارك وتعالى and fear the sins, the sins that we commit, big or small, hidden or open. And remember that Allah Tabaraka wa ta'ala has strength and power over all matters. وَاتَّقُوا يَوْمًا تُرْجَعُونَ فِيهِ إِلَى اللَّهِ Fear the day that we will return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a day when no wealth or children will benefit an individual.